Hi, everyone. It's Dr. Max at Loggerhead Marine Life Center to give you a quick update on uh, Topsy, a subadult green sea turtle that we just released last week. Hi, everyone. My name is Samantha. I'm the clinical operations manager here at Loggerhead Marine Life Center. A Topsy was really special here uh, for a variety of reasons. Um, she'd been in our care for over two years, so among the lo longest periods of time we've had a patient here. A Topsy, who's come to be almost like a little local celebrity here. And she was with us for about two years, which is much longer um, than we typically have patients in our care. Um, her care just took that amount of time to be able to get her to a releasable state. Uh, she presented with a uh, condition related to a boat strike, to her carapace, to the top part of her shell. So she was hit by a boat unintentionally and healed in a malformed way in the wild. And so that caused her to not be able to behave like a normal turtle. She couldn't dive, she couldn't feed, etc. So she stranded eventually and she came to us. Topsy, the challenge to treat it on uh, for a variety of reasons, uh, Boonsy disorder, which was the condition she developed after being hit by the boat, is something we see very frequently. And it's, it's, it can be very challenging to, to treat. She uh, went through a, a number of kind of experimental protocols to get to the point of being medically clear, cleared for release. Um, and her release went really well. We put her on the beach just behind us here in Juneau Beach, Florida, and she crawled right into the water and took off um, as fast as she could. Because her condition was so uh, unique. One of the things she taught us, though, was the behavioral component of this disorder. That was something that wasn't as clear to us before she came into our care. So what that means is uh, we had to adjust her therapy to be able to account for how she behaves uh, during that therapy. Really, what we implemented was a form of physical therapy for this animal, for our patient. And that came in the form of um, the application of and the refinement of external weights to the outside of the animal and that allowed her to develop a new breathing pattern that was more normal than what she would, had developed, which was abnormal. In addition to the breathing, breathing pattern, she also developed a new kind of muscle memory to be able to surface and, and stay neutral in the water and dive normally. Uh, and so that was accomplished during this entire time uh, in, uh, while she was in our care. So those are things that she taught us that we now apply to, to other patients. And so we're really always grateful uh, uh, for the honor of being able to treat these animals, these endangered species, and, and learning from them is really kind of part of all of that. It could not have been done um, without the tremendous support, obviously, of our hospital team, but of all of the donors, all of our volunteers who are just incredibly awesome, all of our supporters around the world. Uh, cases like Topsy really illustrate that it takes an entire turtle village, you know, the global community, to uh, be able to you know, release these majestic animals back home. That's our mission here. We want all of our sea turtles to be rehabilitated and then return back to their home so they can be a turtle and uh, continue to increase the population and uh, do everything that a normal turtle would do out in the wild. Um, that's in our DNA. That's what we do every single day, but we do it with the help of, of, of everyone. So we're eternally grateful for your support, and um, we are super, super happy to report that Topsy is back home in the wild.